Hi, I'm Nick, and tonight on my horror vlog, we will be talking about subspecies. Subspecies is a low-budget vampire film series from, uh, ran from 1990 to 1998. It has five movies total, four of which I'm going to be talking about in some detail. The fifth one, a spin-off movie called Vampire Journals, is terrible, and I'm not going to be talking about it other than just now to say that it's terrible, because it was. They should be ashamed of themselves. The first film in the series, just subspecies, uh, came out in 1990, was released by Full Moon Features, or Full Moon Pictures, whatever their name was at the time. A uh, company that has become very well known for low-budget horror movies. Uh, probably most famous for the Puppet Master series, as well as the Subspecies series. Uh, some of their more recent films, like the Ginger Dead Man and uh, the Killjoy movies, aren't of the same quality as the Puppet Master or the subspecies film. The first subspecies concerns a group of uh, students heading to Bucharest, Romania, where they actually filmed uh, large portions of the movie in Bucharest, uh, which gives the whole film kind of an authentic feel. The main character in the film, Michelle, is played by Laura Tate. Um, the main villain of the film, Radu Vladislav, is played by Danish actor Anna's Hoven. I'm pretty sure that's how you properly say that name. Most of the characters, including Radu's stepbrother, who is the brooding, tormented, I don't want to be a vampire type of vampire, um, not really played very well by his actor, Michael Watson. Sorry, Michael. Um, but Radu is played brilliantly by Anna's Hoven, and he gets a lot of help from his special effects crew that made him look pretty strikingly similar to uh, Max Schreck's Count Orlok from Nosferatu. Yeah, the long fingers. Plays the villain really well, but there's not an awful lot to him. He just seems to be evil for the sake of being evil, and he torments these girls because Stefan, his half-brother, um, shows an interest in them. Michelle, in particular. It's actually a really creepy scene where um, Stefan has fallen in love with Michelle and says that it's because she reminds him of his mother. I don't know how that was supposed to play out as romantic, but... The movie ends with uh, Stefan vanquishing Radu by cutting his head off, and uh, Michelle, who had been turned into a vampire by Radu, uh, going to sleep in a coffin with Stefan. Their fates uncertain afterwards. The movie itself is pretty fun, pretty entertaining, but there's not a lot that stands out about it other than Radu and uh, his makeup effects, and also the creature effects. The titular subspecies are little red demons that Radu creates from his blood, usually by cutting off his extra long fingers. Um, their stop motion animation uh, done by David Allen, who did a bunch of the Puppet Master uh, stop motion effects, and they actually look pretty cool. Um, they unfortunately don't have an awful lot to do in the movie, despite the film being named after them. But still, they're neat to look at. A couple of things uh, that don't work really well in the movie are um, the other actors, but they do a serviceable enough job. Um, there are also a few moments that are just kind of, why did this happen? Like when Stefan is captured by the subspecies uh, by throwing a net on him. That's it. They throw a net on him, he falls down, and the scene cuts. And that's just, that's how they got him. There is a, a really weird moment where they're running through the woods, the girls, uh, Michelle and her friends, and Radu is chasing them um, from the shadows. Except there are a couple of times where you very clearly see Radu. One in particular where we see him just sitting in a tree, hissing at the girls. Um, they seem visibly afraid by this, run into Stefan's arms, and say they were being followed, but they're not sure by what. You just saw him. He was right there. But anyway, these small things aside, it's a really enjoyable movie, which is what Full Moon does at its best. It also has some pretty neat 
special effects, as I mentioned with the subspecies, the Radu cutting his fingers off, and just Radu in general. They get around the vampires turning into bats or just straight up flying in a really clever way. Radu seems to be able to turn into a shadow, which then moves across the ground and across the, you know, um, walls and stuff. And it's a really cool and really effective way to get around the fact that they didn't have very much money at all. So that was it for uh, part one, the subspecies one. We ran through the whole thing pretty quick, painted in kind of broad strokes. Sorry for the spoilers. Uh, we'll be doing two and three in a separate video and four in a hopefully that same video. Maybe it'll be put into three parts. I don't know. We'll find out. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, angry things, uh, put them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, join us next time.